Nintendo's history is full of obscure, forgotten, and cancelled games. Often the subject of rumors and speculation, Mario is no exception. Whispers and murmurs of Super Mario Odyssey 2 still linger to this day. While Odyssey 2 is not officially cancelled or even in the works, it makes you think about other Mario titles that never came to store shelves. That's why today, we're going over 10 Super Mario games that never happened. Be sure to stay until the very end of the video where we discuss a cancelled game that would serve as the predecessor for Super Mario Maker. Number 10. Super Mario 64 2 the sequel to one of the most popular Nintendo games was cancelled due to the failure of the Nintendo 64 disk drive. The game was going to include an exciting new multiplayer mode where players could take control of Luigi. A single demo was made, but never released to the public. It's been suspected that the content for Mario 64 2 went on to influence Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy. However, the 64DD was a commercial failure. Only sold in Japan, the 64DD sold around 1,500 units. There were no plans to bring the system to the US after its failure to make an impression in Japan. Number 9. Super Mario RPG 2 Standing as one of the best RPGs of all time, a sequel to Super Mario RPG was widely anticipated. However, legal trouble and the failure of the 64DD led to this game becoming something entirely new. Nintendo was already struggling with Square regarding some legal trouble while working on a sequel to Super Mario RPG. The 64DD was the last nail in the coffin for the project, and Super Mario RPG 2 became Paper Mario 64. Seeing the CD-based console, the PlayStation 1, Square aligned with Sony for the future of the Final Fantasy series. Nintendo did not take kindly to this decision, seeing that Final Fantasy 1 through 6 were on Nintendo consoles. It was pretty uncomfortable. There were about 4-5 to five years where we couldn't really talk with Nintendo. We didn't have a friendly relationship with them, said Tomoyuki Takechi, president of Square. This bitter discourse eliminated any possibility of a sequel. Number 8. Yoshi Racing The story goes that Argonaut Games pitched the idea of a Yoshi game to Nintendo. Nintendo declined this pitch and also scrapped Star Fox 2, which was being developed by Argonaut Games. An interview with Eurogamer delved deep into the Argonaut's experience. I'm not bitter, but I do feel that Argonaut was used and then spat out by Nintendo. I also feel they undervalued us. We could have done so much more," said Jed San, Argonaut founder. This cancelled Yoshi game became the foundation for Croc, Legend of the Gobos. It starts to make sense when you think about Croc's similarities to Yoshi. Both characters are green reptilian creatures with a cartoony art style. Croc even has a ground pound move similar to the ground pound ability found in most Mario games. It would have been interesting to see what Argonaut Games could have done with Yoshi, especially since Yoshi's story wasn't all too successful. Number 7. Super Mario Spikers Another entry in the Mario Sports series, Super Mario Spikers was going to be developed by Next Level Games. Spikers would have been a combination of wrestling and volleyball. When Next Level Games pitched the concept to Nintendo, it was rejected due to the depiction of violence. Nintendo felt that the game's realistic wrestling moves were too extreme. This feels a bit like an odd criticism since Mario Strikers was a game that pushed the violence scale. Next Level only managed to render a few animations and some mock-up stage ideas. The game was scrapped before any major developments were made. Number 6. Mario Motors Pitched by designer Yute Saito, Mario Motors is an odd concept for a game. Initially, the game sounds like another Mario Kart game. However, Saito proposed a game where players would build engines. At the Reboot Develop Conference in 2018, Saito shared his conversation with Shigeru Miyamoto about Mario Motors. I explained this crazy idea to them and they really listened to me very carefully in complete silence and finally said, that sounds interesting, let's give it a try. Gameplay revolved around players building engines out of chunks of metal. There were plans to add blowing the DS mic into parts of the game to teach acceleration. It was unknown if these engines could later be used in a Mario Kart-like game or if the whole game was solely dedicated to building engines. 
Number 5. American Football Mario Game Retro Studios began working on a Super Mario football game at some point in the late 90s. The game was planned to be similar to other Mario Sports titles. However, Nintendo wasn't satisfied with the game and requested a more realistic football game. From there, Retro began working on NFL Retro Football. This new title was planned to use actual NFL teams and scrap any traces of Mario content. The game was coming on nicely and allegedly even contained a character creator. Despite all the effort, this game was cancelled as well. After this, Retro focused their efforts on Metroid Prime. The concept for a Mario football game is still pretty strong. It could be interesting to see what gameplay innovations that devs could create to make the game still feel like Mario. It's exciting to see when games like Mario Tennis incorporate fun stages and power-ups that tie into the Mario universe. Number 4. Mario plus Rabbids Crossover Before Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, a Mario and Rabbids collaboration was planned during the Wii era. While information is scarce, early concept art depicts Rabbids carrying off Bowser while Mario pursues. Rabbids may have served as the primary antagonist of this game, kidnapping Bowser and causing chaos in the Mushroom Kingdom. The game was going to be a parody of the Mario series and incorporate humor similar to what we see in the Mario plus Rabbids games. However, the project failed to get past initial pitching stages. A formal pitch was never made, and all we have now is some concept art. The project definitely had potential. Seeing how successful Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle and Sparks of Hope are, there's so much potential in having a story where Bowser is kidnapped and Mario has to go for the rescue. It's reminiscent of Super Princess Peach and her quest to save Mario. Fingers crossed that this plot makes its debut in a future game. Number 3. Mario Factory Revealed in the 1994 patent, Mario Factory is the predecessor to Super Mario Maker. The patent describes a program editing apparatus with program halt and data transfer features. The game would allow players to pause and edit various parts of the game. The patent suggests that this program would have been powerful enough for people to make their own games. Nintendo even planned on exploring ways for players to share their work. The patent suggests transmitting the content through a telephone line. The program was never made, but many of the features described in this patent are present in Super Mario Maker. Seeing Nintendo willing to look back on old ideas and make them into something entirely new is exciting. It opens up the opportunity for any of the games on this list to be remade into something else, especially after seeing the Mario and Rabbids collaboration coming to fruition. Number 2. Super Mario's Wacky Worlds Planned for the Philips CDI, Mario's Wacky Worlds was going to be a sequel to Super Mario World. The game followed Mario exploring a variety of real-world locations. The game was designed by Silas Warner and John Brooks. They worked tirelessly to produce a demo for Nintendo. Nintendo was impressed with the work, but ultimately turned the game down. The CDI's poor sales is what influenced Nintendo's decision. A prototype for the game was completed on March 3, 1993. The game played much like Super Mario World, except a bit more restricted. Since the game's code wasn't completed, all Mario could do was move and jump. Enemies also didn't function properly. Typically, Koopas will pop into their shell when jumped on, but here, they disappear. Despite not being finished, the game had a solid foundation. Especially when looking at the Zelda CDI games, it's obvious a lot of care was put into Mario's Wacky Worlds. It's a shame that this game wasn't given the chance to develop further. Number 1. Mario Takes America Mario Takes America is the second and lesser-known game originally planned for the Philips CDI. Developed by Sigum Entertainment, the game was intended to be part of a trilogy of Mario CDI games before Wacky World's cancellation. The game would have followed Mario as he traveled all over America. Levels would have been based off of real-life locations. The art style would have used real photography to produce a Who Framed Roger Rabbit-esque effect. The photos and videos that made up the game's locations were taken by the dev team as they traveled around the US. Sadly, 
the game was scrapped after Sigum was unable to fulfill the original concept for the game. Eventually, Sigum Entertainment closed for bankruptcy, and the game never saw the light of day. That concludes 10 Super Mario games that never happened. What game would you like to see released someday? Super Mario Spikers or Super Mario Football? Let us know in the comments. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Nintendo content.